A man from Oakville, Ontario, has now been formally charged with first-degree murder in the case of Tim Bosma. Mark Smitch made a brief court appearance in Hamilton, in Hamilton today. He's the second suspect to be charged in the case. And as Christina Stevens reports, he intends to plead not guilty. 25-year-old Mark Smitch spent much of his court appearance with his head down, turned away from reporters packing the courtroom. His feet were shackled and he appeared to have scrapes on his left cheek. Within minutes, he was formally charged with first-degree murder in the death of Tim Bosma. Smitch's lawyer, Thomas Dungy, says they will be defending this case vigorously. Our client, our client, please. Not guilty. He wouldn't answer any other questions. Friends of Smitch also rushed to his defense. Mark's an amazing person, regardless. He didn't do it. I know Mark would never do that. He's a nice guy. He's uh, not what everyone has made him out to be. Smitch has a short criminal record, including drug possession and impaired driving. Someone who purports to be the producer of a music video that was posted on YouTube and Videobam alleges the video involved the accused. The graphic rap video shows the scenes of torture and murder. The person claiming to be the producer stated on YouTube, The ghosted video was not real. It was all acting. I directed it and it was my vision and idea. I am the one he has tied up and I also have others acting in the video too. I made him only an actor in the video and it was from 2012. Global News has made numerous efforts to confirm whether one of the people in the video is the accused. Initially, a friend of Smitch confirmed his involvement, but later said it was not him. Police arrested Smitch in Oakville yesterday morning and spent the day searching his house and combing through a park directly behind it. Smitch is the second man arrested in the case. 27-year-old Dellen Millard was charged with first-degree murder last week. Police claim they're the two men who drove off with Bosma for a test drive in his truck May 6th. Bosma's body was found a week later, burned beyond recognition. Police are still hunting for a third suspect seen following Bosma's truck. Both Smidge and Millard remain in custody and are due back in court here June 13th via video. Christina Stevens, Global News, Hamilton.